Greg Ehrenberg from All Chop here. Here to break down the best prop bets for another NFL slate. We got week five on tap right here. While you come in, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and leave a comment below to let me know whatever it is that you are betting for the week or anything you agree with me, disagree with me on. That's all cool too. Let me know in the comment section. I do like having some of the back and forths because it helps me evaluate some of the things I think about sometimes. Or maybe you guys have an angle about something that I didn't otherwise consider. So any engagements, any kind of comments, they're all appreciated below. And we're off to a good start to the NFL season and also off to a good start this week. We profited last night on Thursday Night Football. It was one of the worst games I've ever seen, but we did end up going 2-1 and one on our bets. As for last week's main slate prop bets, which I'm about to break down the main slate in a second here, but last weekend's bets, Went three and one. We hit on Randall Cobb under three and a half receptions, Tony Pollard under 41 and a half rushing yards, and Derrick Henry over 70 and a half rushing yards. The one losing bet there was Baker Mayfield over 202 and a half passing yards. But either way, three and one on the main slate last weekend and off to a good start to this week. No complaints for me and hopefully going to keep the uh, good times rolling, keep the money coming in here. So let's break down the best bets for Sunday's NFL slate right here. First bet I'm going with, it is the number one rated bet for us over an odd chopper for this weekend. Devin Singletary under 53 and a half rushing yards. We have the under winning 74% of the times in our projections. Good for a 41% expected ROI. So why is the under hitting so regularly in our simulations? Well, for starters, this is a very pass happy team in the Buffalo Bills. They don't really run the ball that often. They certainly favor throwing the football, though also when they run, they have a time committee of running back. It's not just Devin Singletary getting on the field, and it's also Josh Allen as the quarterback that's capable of running the football. So through four games, Devin Singletary has only seen double-digit carries once. He's also in, he's also involved in the passing game, so it's not like he's totally uninvolved, but it's just he gets passing game work as well as rushing game work. It limits the amount of times he's just going to be running the football, and he's really inefficient as a running back. So he's only averaging 3.8 yards per carry this year. It's just hard for him to regularly put up big rushing totals when one, he doesn't get a lot of carries. And then two, he isn't efficient with the carries he gets. So his rushing total so far this year, 49, 13, 19, and 48. So in four games this year, Devin Singletary is yet to top 50 rushing yards. So with his prop for this weekend opening up at 53 and a half, I'm going to be leaning towards the under. First bet of the slate is that under 53 and a half rushing yards for Devin Singletary. For my next bet, I'm looking at over three and a half receptions for Rondell Moore. It's a bet that's available over at DraftKings. And if you guys haven't signed up at DraftKings yet, click on the link below and sign up at DK. And what they have going on right now, it's an offer. If you bet $5 on any money line, doesn't have to be just NFL, you will get $200 if that team wins. So here's what I think is the best way to do it. Bet one of those massive college football money line favorites like an Alabama or Ohio State that are basically locks to win. You get that $5 turned into 200 bucks, and then you got a bunch of money to use for the NFL main slate on Sunday. So if you're watching this before Saturday's football or college football games, just bet $5 on one of those massive money line favorites for college football, and you're going to get $200, basically free money there, and then you use that to help build your bankroll for NFL with some of the prop bets we're doing here. But why I like Rondell, Mel, Rondell Moore over three and a half receptions and he's only played in one game so far this year, and it was last week, made his season debut. He was dealing with a hamstring injury earlier in the year. He was targeted five times in his first game of the year, and th the depth of target wasn't really there. So three catches, five yards, uh, three catches on five targets for a total of 11 yards. It's not an outstanding fantasy game by any means, but just the fact that he missed the first few games of the season came right back into the mix with five targets. We know how talented Rondell Moore is, and I do think that he has potential to have some really big games for the Cardinals. And considering how their offense has sputtered to start the year, I think they should want to get the ball in the hands of one of their top playmakers more often. And that's what Rondell Moore is. Something else to consider. There's no DeAndre Hopkins yet for Arizona. So Rondell Moore is going to have to be a guy that plays a big role. Also, A.J. Green got injured last week. So there aren't that many options for a Kyler Murray to throw the football to at this point. And I think this is just going to force more targets to go towards Rondell Moore. He's really explosive. I like him as a player. He should be healthier this this week after he was coming off the injury last week. So I expect him to be fully up to speed and get totally integrated into the offense today. As far as our projections go, we also like this one going over by, by a pretty good amount because the over under three and a half, we have Rondell Moore projected for 5.4 receptions this weekend. So next bet of the day, give me over three and a half receptions for Rondell Moore. 
The next bet I have is under 81 and a half rushing yards for Saquon Barkley. This one's tough because Barkley has been outstanding this year. It's the first time he's been healthy in years, and it's clearly benefited the Giants in a pretty, pretty significant way. However, I hate the game script for this game when it comes to Saquon, Bar Bar Saquon Barkley's rushing total because we know he's going to be involved in the Giants offense, but it doesn't have to be through the running game. He could also be involved in the passing game. First few games of the year, he got seven targets, four targets, four targets, and the Giants are seven and a half point underdogs against the Green Bay Packers for this game. So something I just think from a game script perspective, if the Giants are down a touchdown, two touchdowns in the later stages of this game, what are they going to be doing? Are they going to be throwing the football? Or are they going to be running the football? I think it's more likely to be throwing the football. It's not to say Barkley isn't going to get those touches. I certainly think he is. But I just think he's going to get a lot of his work this week through the air relative to some other weeks where we've seen him more involved in the running game. So overall, I still think it's going to be a good game for Saquon Barkley. But that 81 and a half mark, it's pretty high in the negative game script so far in four games this year. He's two and two on the over on this prop. We've seen him hit the over twice, hit the under twice. Because of the game script, I'm leaning towards the under. And in our projections, we have Barkley right around 69 rushing yards. It's going to be the under 81 and a half rushing yards for Saquon Barkley. It's my next bet of the slate. For my final prop bet of week five of the NFL season, give me Christian Kirk over 66 and a half receiving yards. And I've been really impressed with Christian Kirk. He's had a really good rapport with Trevor Lawrence. And it was something that I think the Jaguars really needed was to get a go-to number one type receiver in this offense. I think they may have found that in Christian Kirk because you look at his start of the season and he has had 66 and a half or more receiving yards in three out of the first four games of the year. And in terms of target share, it says a lot about how comfortable Lawrence is throwing the ball to Christian Kirk. He's had nine or more targets in three out of the first four games of the season. Nine targets, nine targets, six targets, 12 targets. It's leading to pretty big receiving totals for Kirk, who has 327 receiving yards for the first four games of the year amongst the leading receivers to this point in the NFL. So with that in mind, I have to like the over 66 and a half receiving yards for Kirk. We have projected for 80.5 right now over at Odd Shopper. And that seems like a pretty reasonable projection when you just consider everything at play here. The matchup against the Houston Texans, that's a pretty good one. The amount of targets that are going to Christian Kirk and just the rapport that we've seen him build to this point with, with Trevor Lawrence as quarterback. So uh, this Texans team in general, I think, is being undervalued. I did bet them before the season at plus 750 to win the division. And just the young talent, having guys like Lawrence at quarterback and Kirk at wide receiver, it's stuff like that that I think should play in the favor of this team moving forward. So final prop bet of the week, I've got over 66 and a half receiving yards for Christian Kirk. Recapping my prop bets for week five of the NFL season, I've got Devin Singletary under 53 and a half rushing yards, Rondell Moore over three and a half reception, Saquon Barkley under 81 and a half rushing yards, and finally, Christian Kirk over 66 and a half receiving yards. That's what I've got as far as bets go this weekend, but let me know what you guys are betting and anything on the slate that stands out to you, whether it's a player, prop, money line, whatever. A bet I like that I had that you liked, a bet that I had that you disliked, let me know below in the comment section. Also, before you leave, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want even more bets, we have our premium betting subscription package, and you can get access to that for free for one week by clicking on the link below, or you can head on over to Stochastic and use the promo code GE Insider for one week free access. And we've got bets posted in there. We got different, well, actually, everybody basically that's on the YouTube channel is in the Discord channel as well. So we're in there posting bets, answering guys' questions. We got every single sport covered. So if you want that for free, just click on the link below. Other than that, guys, enjoy all the games this weekend, and good luck.